Welcome to this short video on how to build great skills content in a digital environment using Vidversity. Let's assume you want to teach your staff about the new COVID safety requirements you've got in your organisation. First, you'll need to create a video. You can do a professional video or maybe even use your phone. If you don't have a video or not sure where to start, Maybe you could get a PowerPoint presentation and save it as an MP4, or even get some stock video. Next, gather all the material you think that will be useful to bring this course together. Maybe PowerPoints, some links to documents, some useful websites. Upload the video to Bitversity, either using the upload button, or you can use the app directly from your phone. You can start editing the video immediately using the inbuilt editor inside Bitversity, either chunking into bite-sized chapters or maybe just removing some parts of the video. You then simply select the videos you want and add them to a course. And there you go, you've made your first course. But now the next step is the most important. Let's make it really engaging and interesting for the learner. You can add questions true or false, fill in the blank, multiple choice, to really get the learner involved and assess whether they're understanding the content. Add links to resources and documents, and the learner doesn't even have to leave the video, they pop up on the screen. Add key takeaways as notes that also pop up on the screen, but what's great about notes is they can be printed as a single document. You can add other key interactions and then you're ready to publish. You can either deliver in your LMS or you can use our built-in LMS to deliver and get analytics. Now let's go and see what we've made and what the learner gets to see, which is fully responsive and can work in any environment. So this is what the learner sees. You can choose any colour you want and any logo you wish. Initially the learner's moving through some PowerPoints, which I put at the beginning of the video. Then they'll start watching the video and the interactions will start popping up throughout the video so the learner goes on a seamless experience. These interactions like notes and pop-ups make the learner feel really involved so it's not a passive experience, they're actively involved in the learning. At any time the learner can click on my progress, they can retry questions, they can see how far they're going and they can see when they've completed and all that data gets sent back to an LMS or as I said we could use our own internal LMS. Thank you so much for your time.